All right, uh, so this here is a follow-up to the discussion I had about the, the quit jack, as you can see, it's on the car. The car is, is lifted to the max max height. The effect of the second stop, um, it's like fully engaged. The lock is free. It's pretty much those little pinch wells. These little pinch wells right here are what are the, the locking mechanism. I'll try to put my hands in between the, any part of this, but it's just effectively it's locked on one of those that's back here. You can see it down there. So this is not held up by hydraulic pressure right now. But what I wanted to show you really was, so this is the actual um, main frame that goes the full length back there. You can see it. And then this right here, is the extension bar or the extension piece that you need in order to reach um, the pinch well of your car if uh, if your car is a bit uh, longer not necessarily longer but it should be a standard length so you can see the block is sitting on the pinch well it's sitting slightly off but not by much that's fine um, uh, but as you can see, if I did not have that, um, I would have to put the block back here. And that's how I end up with the blocks being like halfway gouged up and like, you know, started getting chewed up on stuff because it wasn't fully on the pinch wheel of the car. Um, and that's the pinch wheel. Sure enough, um, my car has, I'm not gonna put my hands on the frame, but it has this underskirt in here. Um, so there's, it doesn't have that fully, that pinch well fully exposed that runs the full length of the car. So you might be able to get away with it. Um, and you'll know what I'm talking about if you watched the previous video, as far as um, it, the main frame not being, um, being a, for the 5,000 model that is. Um, so I'll show you again, it's right here. For that model and a, a standard sedan, which this is a 2008 Acura, TL Type S, it does not reach the full pinch well. So again, um, the main frame, the main frame right there, um, main frame, and then the extension bar. And if we look underneath, let me just try to see it. Let's try it. Not really from that angle. Um, there you go. The pinch well is sitting slightly on it. Um, slightly hanging over on the back half. Um, the next side, I've checked already, it's perfectly centered. But again, this this extra room that you get with the, the frame um, will allow you to lift the car safely. Um, sorry if I was blinding you there. Yeah, this little extra room that you get with this extension bar. So it's totally worth it. It's kinda, it's kinda crappy to me that you have to buy it, but who knows? The 7,000 version might be longer or they might have an Excel version, I'm not sure. But this is what I'm stuck with, so I bought it. It works, it's just an extra piece. I guess you could like weld it on here just to make it permanent, but um, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a welder. I guess you could like drill a, drill a screw through there, drill a bolt or something just to attach it, but I don't know if that would like weaken it or, you know, void any type of warranty or anything. Yeah, but it's not really necessary. It just sits in there. And in fact, it would make the unit so much more heavier if you had that permanent, permanently attached. So yeah, just want to show you what I was talking about using the extension. Um, like I said, it would be nice if I could use those. Um, I would get so much more lift and height out of this car. Um, but I would use those if I was, like I said, if I was going to be on the car long term, because once you're laying down on your back onto the car and you got to like prop your head up, it kind of hurts your neck after a while, but yeah, this works. So, um, yeah, I like it, but anyway, I just, that more I show you. So boom until next time.